I tried to hit the button. Hey everyone. Hello, beautiful. Hi guys. Thank you so much for coming to my design space class. I do this every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern, same time, same channel. Um, thank you all for coming. You guys amaze me. Uh, <laughs> Today we're going to be going over 3D projects, sizing them, because I've seen a lot of people ask questions about sizing in the groups, and Jamie has recommended this because she has seen it a lot. Um, <laughs> thank you everybody for cheering this on. I did add the chat back to the video, so those of you who are watching on the TV can see the chat, and it's easier, I think, to see the chat while you're uh, in this. So if you have questions, please ask them all in caps. I can't get to every question because this chat sometimes goes fast. So sometimes I spend some time looking at the comments in silence for a minute, trying to find your answers. So if the video is going too slow for you and you're watching the replay, you can hit the gear at the bottom and watch it in fast forward. Um, if you want to learn design space, the best thing for you to do when you're not watching live is to pause the video, do it in design space, have two tabs open, design space and YouTube, or have YouTube on your iPad or something, watch the video, pause it, then do the exact same thing in Cricut design space. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Joan and Patricia and Christy. And thank you, Bobby Ford, for uh, he had to leave, but he does our pre-show kind of. He's our cheerleader for, um, we come here about a half hour before the video starts, and it's a lot of fun every week. I really enjoy that part of my Saturday mornings is chatting with you before the video. So thank you all for coming and doing that. We do have a new emoji. It's cheering um, Mr. Cricket with a megaphone. Thank you, Bobby. It was his idea. So I made that. And thank you for the people who have sponsored me and the new people. You'll see them with a little cricket head and my sun logo behind it. Um, as they grow in sponsoring me, their badge will change over time. Let me show you. Oh. Okay, so they will. Ha it starts off new with a little cricket head and then it grows antennas and then you grow a body and then it grows arms. The sponsorship thing is done by YouTube. They set the time limits. I just have to upload the badges, so that's what I did. And um, we do have some new sponsors who just joined in the video beforehand. So if you joined during the video, this didn't work last time, but I think it might be working now. Let me show you what happens when you become a sponsor. You get a shout out right on the screen. So thank you, Gail Banks, who just started this morning. And thank you, Lisa Durbin, who also just started this morning in the um, time before the video. And thank you, Lynn Coleman. I'm not sure if she's still here. She said she had to go for a minute. She had to get some coffee. So thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I appreciate it. Um, for all the sponsors, they get the special emojis. They get the badge. They get all my Cricut Design Space files. They get to come and watch a secret hangout with me every month, which will be next Saturday. So this Saturday, I'm opening viewer mail after this video. Next Saturday is the Patreon Hangout, and sponsors are also welcome to join in the chat and watch also. So that will be next Saturday after this class. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sonia and Janice and Angela Stone. You guys are all amazing. I can't say hi to every single person, but I really appreciate everyone who's here watching and Let's get to it. This is for Sheila. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time. 
Okay. Now let's get to design space. Uh, I just saw the question, how do you become a sponsor? Uh, if you're on iOS, you can't do it. You have to do it from a computer, I think. And there is a big sponsor button with every single video on my channel and right next to the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll get notification when I go live because I don't only go live on Saturdays, I go live throughout the week and I do golf cart videos, driving through my city on the golf cart and Tesla videos. Oh, and it's official now. I am going to Utah, Salt Lake City in in June, it's the end of June, I'm driving there, my car is driving me there with my son. We are taking a road trip to Salt Lake City and I'm gonna be teaching a design space class at the Cricket Make It, at the Cricket Mountain Makeathon on July 30th, I think. So the end of, did I say June? I meant July if I said June. I don't remember, but it's at the end of July. So we're going to take a road trip. We're going to be uh, live streaming as much of it as we can. Um, and then after the Mountain Makeathon, we're driving to Las Vegas for a few days, and then we're going to the Grand Canyon, and then we're driving back to Florida. So I hope to share all this with you guys, and I think it'll be fun. So I did put a link in the description below for the Cricket Make It Mount, Make It, for the Cricket Mountain Makeathon. Um, it's gonna be filled with classes this time, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So if any of you are going, please um, come up to me, say hello. I'm really shy in person, so you have to come up to me and say hi, because I'm really shy. I know, you don't know this by the videos, but I'm shy. Okay, sorry for those watching the replay who don't care about anything I just said. Let's get to the video. Yeah, Deanna Brown, when are you gonna start the video? Can somebody in the chat tell them to refresh if they can't see the video? Okay, did you guys see these new images in Design Space? Hello, beautiful. And there's like four new cartridges in access. Uh, and there's a new Star Wars. Oh, I forgot what cartridge this is. High jump phrases and sentiments. So I thought these are fun. I love, just be a nice human. Choose joy. Shine like the stars. Make dreams happen. You can make your dreams happen. Uh, you cannot watch my class at the Cricket Makeathon. That won't be live. I may do live uh, peaks here and there, but I'm not gonna, I can't show the video live or the class live, I don't think. Okay. Um, okay, so today we're here to learn how to size things. So let's go to, let's figure out how to find the 3D images. I also want to show you envelopes and things like that too. So at any time, please make sure I do that. Don't let me forget. We're going to go to filter. We are going to click 3D objects. So here are some 3D objects. Some of the older ones will look like this, but then some of the newer ones they've created to show you how it looks for real. Like this is a really old one. It doesn't even have the score lines. It just has the tick lines. That is from Cake Everyday Sampler. It's a really old one. Look at this pumpkin. I think that is so cute. I love this house. I think I did this. Did I do this house before? No, I don't think I have. Oh, and look, a 3D chandelier. I love the hippo. Noah's Ark. Okay, here's the shoe. 
Yay! Crafty GG Creates. Thank you for sponsoring. Uh, and if you subscribe to me during this video, you also get a shout out. Look at this. That's cute, but not everybody has this. It was from a circle cartridge. Okay, what else? And these glasses, these are from a Superman cartridge. You can't get that anymore. But I saw a lot of glasses in here that I want to make. Um, oh, and I want to show you how to size rosettes and cupcake wrappers. I know Angela asked about cupcake wrappers. Here's a rosette. Okay, let's start with these things first. Thank you, Alex Ooh, Cook, there. for subscribing oh that's a cute box what is that 3d diamond box thank you marcia okay let's get these inserted you can see the ones i chose down here at the bottom let's insert image okay i'm gonna hide the ones i'm not working on right now just by clicking the I okay now look at this one does this not look like a fox mask I saw this and I had it on my screen with the other ones and I'm like what is that I don't remember choosing that and then I realized oh it's the shoe okay let's put the lines back on okay now when you size this make sure you keep everything grouped together never ungroup it when you're sizing if you do ungroup it, like things won't, like this only has that, but never detach, never ungroup. I'm just gonna get it back. There, that's back to grouped. <coughs> okay, now this is the shoe. Can you see the shoe now? This is the side of the shoe. Thank you, Joyce. So if you're looking at these squares, each of these squares are an inch. So this shoe is really kind of small. Let's put it on a line. By a line, I mean I'm kind of going across this line here. We need to bend it up a little bit. It's not really a straight, straight line. But if you wanted to know how tall this was going to be, if you cut this out like this, you cannot look at the 4.54 or the 3.3 because it's all flat and not folded together. So to find the real size, you have to look at just the side or look at the inside. If it's a box, it depends on what it is. So you can see this is the side of the shoe, right? Right here. So what I do is you can just look at the inches. You can see this is only one and a half inches. Um, let's make it bigger. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, so now if I put it back on a line, it's gonna be one, two, like two and three quarters of an inch. Now also what I do to cheat, it's not cheating but bring out a square in the basic shapes. They're all free. Click the unlock button, and then I'm gonna move this up to the edge here and move it here. Thank you, Jolene. And we're gonna move it. So I want, I want this to only be at the top. So I'm going to move this to the top and so I moved it to the top here and to the edge of the shoe. And about right here. So let me move this to the back to make sure that's about the size it's going to be. And maybe right there. 
So it's going to be more like 2.7 inches and 3.9. Now, if I want to change the size, instead of just changing this and then having to change the square, the rectangle to match it again, because that takes time, we're going to group it together again. So we're going to group it all. And now I can change it to any size I want. How big can you make this? Okay, I'm, I'm just curious of what's the biggest size I can make this. Okay, so this is 15.7 inches. So I would have to have the 12 by 24 mat and I would use 12 by 24 cardstock from Cricut. And this is 11.4. So this is probably as big as it will fit on the mat. Yeah, I think so. Um, but I wonder what size this is gonna be. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna check the size of the square. I can't get to the square because it's behind. So I'm selecting the shoe, clicking a range, going to the back. Oh wait, did I do that? No, move to back. Oh, because I have it grouped together. Didn't work. We're gonna ungroup it now, move it to the back. And now I'm just gonna click on this and I know the shoe size will be 5.2 by 7.5. Okay, do you have questions on this? Does this make sense? Lisa is asking, are the graph lines in DS the same width and height? On the iPad app, the lines kind of change. It depends on if you're zoomed out or zoomed in. And it's really hard to tell on the iPad app. But yeah, these are inches. But you can tell more exact what they are with adding a square. Okay. Thanks for the great idea of grouping that and sizing it because you saw me with that idea. I never thought of that until I just did it because I never used that before and, that, and then changed the size. I usually just drag it and eye everything. Uh, okay, so... Let's go to something else. We're gonna hide this. Uh, let's open up the cupcake wrapper. Okay, now cupcake wrapper, let's, we don't need this so big anymore. Now the cupcake wrapper is always very hard to tell. And I, the, this is way back when I first got a Cricut. I was cutting out different cupcake wrappers and seeing what sizes. Every cupcake wrapper seems to be different. So the best bet is to cut it out on just plain copy paper, cheap paper, scrap paper, and size it. But let me show you how to figure out what size it is. Um, what I do is go to the center. I am going to put this like at the top and move that down. So it's kind of with the top and the bottom right here. What we're doing is measuring the height of the cupcake wrapper. And I'm going to arrange this. No, nope. I'm going to align this and center horizontally. Not center, center. If I do that, then it goes down here. I don't want it down there because it's centering it with the bottom. So let's move that back up where we want it. And align center horizontally. So then it just moved it a little. So then this cupcake wrapper will be 1.83 inches. 
So you have to know what size your cupcakes are. Um, and I find cupcakes are different sizes. <laughs> so you have to measure your cupcake. Thank you, B Swear, for sponsoring. And then you can change it. So let's group this. Say our cupcakes are, and you have to measure the bottom of the cupcake, not the frosting or not the part above. Oh, you know what I did wrong? This needs to be locked. I must have unlocked that somehow. Whoops, it's not grouped. You don't have to group it, but you have to select it all. So it all moves together. So now this is 2.2 inches for a cupcake. And I suggest cutting out, you don't have to cut both of them out. You can just cut out the back of it and measure it on your cupcake before you cut out a whole bunch. That's the best way because I did get a size. I don't quite remember what it was. It was like seven years ago. So I don't remember, but I did get a size that worked, but then it didn't work on all of the cupcake wrappers. So every single different cupcake wrapper, I kind of had to try differently. So that's the best I can tell you about cupcake wrappers. Um, okay, let's go to the rosette. Nope, not that one. Here's a rosette. It's only part of a rosette. Here's another part. I usually put three to four of these together um, to do a rosette. It's all up to you, depending on how much you want to stretch it and all of that. Um, I have also, let's ungroup these, done it to where I have welded these two together and then just did one long string too. So I'm just letting you know that options there. Okay, let's bring this to the front. So to know how big a cupcake wrapper is, actually, I don't need that square. The, it's not a cupcake wrapper, it's a rosette. Um, it's gonna be double the 3.11. It's not going to be exact because then it, again, depends on how much you push this to the center when you're closing it up. Sometimes you have a hole in the center. Sometimes you have a real tight, small, no hole in the center. So it depends on that. So to kind of round it off on how big the rosette is going to be, you take this number right here, the 3.11, and double it. So this rosette at this size will make like a 6.2 inch rosette. Does that make sense? Um, if you don't know what a rosette is or you've never made one, then this might not make sense. But it's pretty much gonna be this height of the two of these together, which is 6.2. It may be a little bigger depending on how you make it. Yeah, you have to log into the same account you did a sponsor to get the emojis, to get my emojis. Okay, Gladys Faith says she makes her width to 8.75 wide and it makes a perfect cupcake wrapper. It fits standard size cupcakes perfectly. Uh, most of the cupcake wrappers do not have a bottom. And I was thinking that yesterday when I was looking at this to go over the video. I think there are some that have a bottom, but can you imagine having to glue that round bottom in for every single cupcake wrapper? And if you're doing a lot of cupcakes, that's why I think. 
but most of them with the shape of a cupcake and the shape of the wrapper, you're good. If you hold the wrapper, it doesn't fall through. You need iron on vinyl, Darlene, for uh, a t-shirt. Thank you, Dolores. Okay, would I resize a exploding box card? Yes. Yeah, I did everything here, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start new just to get rid of this stuff. Okay, here's one in design space. We are going to get a square. Place the square the size of the exploding box. And it's going to be 2.597 inches. Um, this is the lid. So this is what it is after it's finished, actually, because with all these layers on it, that's just the bottom layer. I'd have to ungroup that to see all of that. But here's the lid. So it's actually going to be 3.2. The inside of the box will be this size. So if you need to know the size of the inside, that will be the size of the square here. And the outside will be this size, 3.2. If you want to know exactly how tall it is, here, let's ungroup this. We're going to drag this. Nope. Nope. This one. This is the bottom layer. Well, just trying to get the square. Let's bring him to the front. So it's going to be about 3.08 inches. Just match it up. Like these are the walls, the side walls. So if you just match that up for the height, Diane Dean to sponsor, uh, you might have to be on a computer and there's a sponsor button right next to the subscribe. Joan's always wanted to make an exploding box, but she's afraid of explosions. You're so funny, Joan. Okay, uh, we good on this? Does this make sense to everybody? I'm guessing we're good. The sponsor button gives you a badge next to your name. And uh, the badge changes over time. And uh, you get into my commun YouTube community sponsor only post where you get all my design space files. You get in a secret video. I subscribe back to your channel. And, 
oh, you get a discount on my digital paper site. Okay, I think we're good on this. Yeah, our Patreon video will be next Saturday after class. All right, I think we're good. I don't see any more questions. Can you size a box card? Yes. I also want to do an envelope. Oh, but I think the box cards have envelopes, don't they? Jolene asks, why do they, a lot of the cards um, are so tiny when you hit make it now? Because they want you to size them to what size you want. Diane asks, are you still in for the gift even if you're not a sponsor? I don't know what gift you're talking about. Uh, box cards. Let's just go to the box card cartridge. Okay, these look like different sizes. Let's go ahead and insert them both. Barb, hit the smiley face in the chat, I think, to get the emojis. Okay, let's get rid of one of these. Okay, this is a sunflower one. There's the envelope. So the envelope is always sized with this. Let's zoom out so we can see everything. Uh, until you get the size to what you want, you want the envelope to stay grouped with it. Do not ungroup until you are sure on the size. Otherwise, the envelope won't fit. Um, but we want this bigger. Right? Oh, I guess we want to keep it under 12 inches. Okay. Thank you, Diane, for sponsoring. Um, okay. We are going to get a shape. And... We're going to size it. So if we want to know this box, as you can see, the sides are not as wide as the front. So this is the front and this is the back. And then these two skinny parts are the size. It's a wider box. It's not a square box. So depending on what you want to know, you need to put, we need to unlock our little box. Put this all the way, not to where these brown squares are, but to where these score lines are. So I'm going to measure, I want to know what the size of the side of the box is. So that's 2.4 by 2.9. Um, if I want to know what size it is with it all opened up, what I would do, this would be the front, move the side, this, so this would be about that size. But then with it all opened up, these flaps are open. So I'm going to duplicate this box and add another box, measure it to the top there. So this is how tall it is. And so when it's opened up, this will be flapped off to the side. So I'm gonna take this measurement of 2.9 and add it to this one of 1.7. Now, you don't have to do this. I never have ever measured like this or cared what size it was when it was uh, opened. 
Now, when it's all closed, if you want to know the size, put this to the top, pull this down to the bottom. So this is four inches high and 2.9 um, inches wide. Now, if I want to make it a different size, I can do like what I did before, drag it to any size I want and then go back to here and now it's 4.8 inches tall and 3.5 inches across. I could keep going. Notice I'm selecting the box with the image. I can group it if I wanted to. Uh-oh, you want this to stay locked. So now it's 6.6 .6 by 4.8. And you just size it to whatever size you want to size it to. Oh, she's talking about the St. Jude's. Um, the St. Jude's giveaway is until June 7th. And so we can't choose until after June 7th. And we do not know... Um, when yet we're actually going to be live and draw the winners or announce the winners. We haven't decided yet. Uh, you do not have to be a sponsor to get on that. That has nothing to do with being a sponsor on YouTube or anything. Thank you for subscribing, Diane. How long does it typically take to complete one box card? That's totally depending on your crafting level. I think it's different for everybody. Bye, Christy. I am going to be uh, in my Facebook group tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a video and doing a giveaway at the end of the video in Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, the Facebook group. Okay, um, do you, do we want to do envelopes now? Now, what I can show you this envelope. I'm going to ungroup it. Let's pretend this is an envelope all by itself. Where's our square? I'm just moving. Whoops. Uh-oh. I'm just trying to get my square. Let's bring it to the front. Hi, Scrap and Cherry. To find out what this finished envelope size will be, unlock the lock and just make it go from score line to score line. So this envelope will be 9.5 by 7.8. I'm not sure why that needs to be that big. So I'm going to select them both to change the size. Say I don't think it needs to be that big. And then just click on the square. And then that's the new size, 5.4 by 6.8. Does this make sense to people? Am I explaining it correctly? I don't know what time on Facebook it has not been decided. It will be after 11 a.m. and before 8 p.m. Thank you, Ronnie. Um, was there anything else I wanted to show you sizing 3D objects? Let's look through them. Oh. There are not really a lot of directions. Um, you can find some YouTube videos on them.
let's uh, just look through the 3D images and see if there's something that we might, like what I explained doesn't work, and see if we can do it together. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's Buzz Lightyear. Okay, I don't know how to size him. Oh, I should have done a new thing. Okay, we're going to move up. Okay, I don't even know what he's supposed to look like. I think I'd have to see a picture of Buzz Lightyear. They do not have this one. Um, I think this is his, that's his face. Is this an airplane or is this a robot? Oh, I see. Wait, here's his pants. I see his pants. Thank you, Dessa. Okay, so if I was like I am and have no idea what this is going to look like, I can at least look at his pants and recognize where these go and say that's only two inches. So if I think about that, I could guess at this. But to be honest, I don't know this one. I would look for a YouTube video and see if anybody has put this together. That's what I would do. He has wings on his back. See, I haven't seen those movies in years, so I don't remember. We're going to go to the filter, 3D. The more sponsors I get, the more emojis I get. But my next one doesn't happen until I get 25 more emojis. But I, I think I got like five. So maybe it's only 20 now. Girls, make up party a little box. Oh, here's a coffin. Oh, I want to show you something else. Hey, Mamie, maybe you can't sponsor on mobile. You can use the emojis on mobile, but you have to go to a computer to get the sponsor button. Maybe I think you need a sponsor button. I would totally sponsor you just for the emojis. Okay, here are the, here's the coffin. Now, if you want to know the size of this, I kind of like to straighten out the top and bottom. Can you see this inner? Let me change the color so you can see better. So you can see the score lines. This inner area of the coffin is what is going to be uh, the size of the coffin. This is the bottom and this is the lid. So let's bring in a shape. Yeah, the emojis are fun. You upload your own emojis. You, maybe you need a Vinny emoji. See, and I can even help you make the emojis, maybe. There's me being excited. Um... Which cartridge am I on? Great question. Let's see. I was just in 3D images, so this is Happy Hauntings. There's lots of 3D images in here. Look at the pumpkins. Little treat boxes. Oh, look at the spider. A tree. Oh, a table. That's cool. Okay. Let's go back. We're going to get a shape for a size. And we are going to unlock it. And we're going to put it about, oh wait, let's go back over here. I'm going to match this up to the corner right here. 
just so I can get a width on the size of the coffin. I lined up the top and bottom. So I'm just bringing this one over here to the width on this edge of the coffin, like these corners. So when this coffin is made, it will be 3.8 by 2.4. And if we wanna make it change the size, we can just drag this. If we wanna make it smaller, we can make it smaller. And then click here and then we'll see the size. And now if we wanna see how tall it's gonna be, these edges are how tall it's gonna be. Let me just bring in another square. So if we wanna keep this size, we can do that. Let's make this smaller. Now I need to move these so I can measure it more straight. So I'm gonna put this edge just along a line there just to make it a little easier. And I'm just trying to, let me zoom in. I'm just trying to match the square up with this. I know it's a rectangle. So now I know it'll be 0.2, okay, because this is really small, um, tall. But of course I could just click select all and make it all, let me zoom back. In, make it all bigger oh this I don't know why this is coming unlocked I'm gonna undo select all see that's locked make it bigger it's still under an inch there but um, so it'll still be this size let's make it So now it'll be a little bigger. And this is like a treat box. You can put treats on it. Oh, and let me show you something else with this. I thought of that would be fun that I can show you guys. Now, if you're making a coffin and you're making treat boxes, you could put somebody's name right on the coffin. You could write on it. So this is the lid. And then this is the bottom, I think. And you could write on here. Let's go to text. Uh, rest in peace. Bobby. Uh, okay, wait. Let's just do this. And we're going to center but we are going to choose a writing style. Oh, and we're going to choose one of the grave. Let's choose graveyard. I think the graveyard one or the vampire one or Dracula. Is it Drac? Eva? Nope. Vampire. A uh, vampire script. Okay. Yes, this one. Okay. Now, to get this to write on this coffin, I have to have it selected. And I'm hitting my command key. And um, I'm clicking on the coffin. And I'm going to attach. It's down here. So now it will write that on here. I think that's so much fun. I'm looking at the chat. I'm not just sitting here quietly. Hi, Lolly.
This is from Happy Hauntings. Oh, can you curve it? That's a great question. Let's detach it. I did not change it at all, so yes, I can. Oh no, you can't curve it because it has two lines. But let me show you how. Let's take away these, these so we can see this better. Um, when I have two lines like this, you can ungroup two lines. Now you can curve. Oh, I don't really like that curved. Let's curve this one. And let's move the letter spacing together. Okay, so now we can put, I made them big. Okay, we need to center them. I'm just attaching them together now. And then put it on there. And attach. There. So that's how you can curve it. Please do a quick demo on how to get the score marks over when cutting. I, I don't understand what you want me to do. What do you mean get the score lines over? Oh, do you mean you have to attach them? Is that what you're not doing? If they're not attached to the project, they're not going to cut the same. Let's do an example. Maybe this is what you're asking me. I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'm putting, changing the color so you can see it. Okay, can you see the score line here? Let's say I want this in the center. I'm going to select it both. I'm going to align it in the center. Okay, now I go and hit make it. That score line is all by itself right here. It is not on this square here. The reason for that is, is because I have to put, drag a box around it, make sure they're both selected. See how the score line is dark and the box is dark, and then we're gonna click attach. Now they become together under attach and it's attached and we click make it. And now the score line is there. Does that make sense? Good. We only have a few more minutes. I am doing a opening viewer mail. I do that on the first Saturday of the month, every month. And I only have three, four things to open and one of them is not even to me. So uh, one of them was to my assistant, Callie. And the card was so beautiful from one of you. I uh, said, can I show that in my video? <laughs> so uh, it'll be a short video. And then I have to go get my hair done. Excited. You are watching Whoops. Melody Lane. I'll have pink hair then. Hey guys, I want to try. Oh, I have to do this first before we go. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support my channel on Patreon Wendy, Mickey, Eva, Michelle, Jean Ann. Ashley, Jen, Heather, Gina, Sandy, Carrie, Kim, Iris, Lois, Lisa, Bridgetta, Charlotte, Diane, Patricia, Angela, Teresa, Jeannie, Pam, Marion, Terry, Janice, Kathleen, Linda, Diane, Lisa, Lori, Cynthia, Robert, Kiona, Sandy, Glenda, Ellen, Jennifer, Vivian, Kimberly, Carla, Deborah, Becky, Patricia, Bonnie, Stephanie, Bibi, and Carol. Thanks, guys. Okay, um, and I want to try this. No, see, that's not working. It's supposed to do credits for everyone who subscribed or sponsored during the video, and for some reason it's not working. 
What is the difference between supporting you on Patreon and supporting you on YouTube? It depends on how much you support me for on Patreon. Uh, some people do both. Um, the biggest difference is the badge here. I don't have the option for that. It's You have to do it through YouTube to get a badge next to your name and the emojis. It's not me. Um, if it was up to me, Patreon supporters would have that too, but it's just not an option. I don't have that option. You have to do that through um, YouTube. And on Patreon, there's different amounts of pledges, so you can get more things on Patreon that you don't get as a sponsor here if you sponsor, if you pledge more. Yeah, pink hair is coming back today with, I think, some purple streaks. And then we're going to get a little more green in here. Thank you, Kathy. But sponsoring on here and on Patreon, you get all of my files and the discount code. Uh, I did a... FedEx is here. I think more paper that I ordered from Cricut. Oh my goodness, I ordered too much paper. But when it's on sale, it's hard to resist. Um, what was I asking? Or what were you asking? Okay, how come some names are green with the emoji and some are blue? The blue ones are moderators on YouTube. If they have a green badge and blue, if I took them off of moderation, their names would be green. <laughs> Joan says I'll be in the pink. Uh, if you have any suggestions for next week, next week's video, let me know. Oh, I was saying I have a whole live class I did on fonts and writing and printing fonts and welding and slicing and attaching with fonts. I did one of those videos. There uh, is a playlist of all my videos. I think there's 44 of them so far. All right, I think that's it, guys. I don't see any other questions. <laughs> Husband says if a day ends in Y, then it's a day, a delivery day. Registration marks. I have videos on uh, registration marks on how to do iron-on vinyl, how to layer it uh, perfectly and easy, and how to do it with regular vinyl, how to use registration marks. I can do a fall project. Thank you, Kathy, for subscribing. If you subscribe and click the bell, then you'll get notifications. You might have to right click on the bell and do all notifications, not just part-time notifications. I bought, pro I bought things last fall to make a fall wreath and I never made that wreath. So let's all hope I have the time to make that wreath this year. How to make 3D images like 32 inches. Um, I do have some videos on how to make things larger than the mat. I did one of those live in here in one of my classes. Uh, 
All right, guys, it's noon. I'm gonna let you go and I have to get set up for my next video. So let me give you a link to that. There's one in the description. Um, here is another link I will give you. So you can go hang out there. There's some people already ready for that video. I go live in 15 minutes. I love you guys. I really appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. Bye.